people how you doing smoking a Sabinelli, Sabinelli Trevi with some capstan blue I think this is a model 114 yep very nice I'm not a huge fan of bright Virginias they are very grassy and uh, I prefer darker Virginias like McLellan's 5100 I love that stuff. I want to tell you a little story today. A story about this guy. That is a seven alley. Collection, 1996, unsmoked. Everything started when I made a sale of a computer that I was not using anymore. To a gentleman over in Chicago. The guy also decided to buy a couple other items I was selling. And that was just beautiful. The total of his purchase was around 800 bucks. That was great because I would pay like big part of my rent and still have like a little bit of money. I um when he paid I packed everything up and sent to him over USPS oh USPS uh yesterday 4 days after I sold him the stuff he mails me and says, USPS delivered the thing at the wrong zip code. Oh man. It was my first big expensive items, you know, selling. It never even occurred to me to, to make insurance. The guy didn't ask for insurance either. I called the UPS, USPS and uh, and they told me that they would open a case and try to find the package and blah, 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 blah. And that they still have 24 hours to do so. But the lady told me, he told me over the phone, and I quote, to not get my hopes too high. Of course, all of this happens after I purchased that pipe. And, um, yeah. I'm pretty sure they're not gonna find that thing. It's, it's, it's brilliant. It's amazing. You, you look at the tracking and it's like, it gets to Chicago. The, the delivery guy goes to the, the right, right zip code. Do, does not deliver it for some reason. I don't remember exactly the message that he lives there. And then he goes to another zip code and says, Business was closed. The guy is not a business, the guy is just a guy. It's not a business. And then he goes to a third zip code and leaves the package there. Because why not? And um, that's the. That's my situation right now. So. <laughs> If that package does not come up, I'm going to sell that pipe. So I really don't want to sell that pipe. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Learning the lessons, right? Oh, man. 
Oh well, um, talking about a little bit of state pipes, I, I rarely buy a new pipe, a pipe that is new. I usually buy state pipes and clean them a little bit. The first time I did that, I got this guy. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, this pipe. You see, it looks pretty good, right? It was pretty nasty when it came to me. But you see how it's shiny? Okay, this is Docker Nuvo X. <laughs> I this this genius here put a coat of uh, shellac on it. Later that day, I read or I watched a YouTube video, I don't remember, saying that you should never do that because it prevents the pipe, the pipe from from breathing and will it will be harder for it to get rid of the moisture and also it will smoke harder. I was like, bullshit, this is bullshit. And, uh, but, you know, I never got to smoke the pipe. This was months ago, months. So yesterday I decided to smoke the pipe. And um, it was like smoking a nuclear reactor. It was crazy hot. I can't, I can't explain to you. After five minutes smoking it, it was like drawing fire. Then uh, tongue bite came. Yep. I smoked McBaron's Golden X Ronin. <laughs> I know that blend for years. It doesn't give me tongue bite. Never. So I ruined that pipe. Good news, right? A bunch of good news today. Yay! It's life. <clears throat> yeah. But that, that's it, that's it, yeah, that's it. That's what I want to share for, with you guys today. So let's get our fingers crossed so USPS finds that damn package and I don't have to sell the pipe. Energy, goodbye. <laughs>